Today we're going to be looking at proportionality, or rather the relationship between two values. I'll first talk about what a ratio is and how it can be represented. I will then talk about an example problem and some ways in which we can solve it. So let's say that I want to make several cakes for a big party, and one part of the recipe calls for six kilos of flour, and then it also calls for 24 eggs. So a ratio is a way in which to show the relationship between two quantities, right? So here we have a relationship between the kilos of flour I need to the number of eggs I need, right? Now, one way to write this out is in a ratio uh, form, right? So one way to write out this ratio relationship is to say six to 24. And we use a colon to separate the two values, right? So this is the same as saying six kilos of flour to 24 eggs. Another way to write out a ratio is using fraction notation. So we can write six over 24. And this is what we call a parts to parts ratio, because we are looking at the relationship between the flour and the eggs, as opposed to all of the ingredients. If we wanted to look at all of the ingredients, which we call parts to whole, then we would write the total number of ingredients as our denominator, which if we are just looking at the flour and eggs, would be 30. So six parts of an ingredient to 30 parts of all of the ingredients, and that would be the same for 24 parts of ingredients to 30 parts of ingredients. Now usually it is ideal to have your ratio in its simplest form. So if we take our ratio of six kilos of flour to 24 eggs, we must find the lowest common factor in these two numbers. Well, six can be divided by six to get one, right? Remember, we want to get as close to one as we can, hence why I chose six. Can 24 be divided by six? Yes, and that is four. So six to 24 can be simplified to one to four. So let's say I go to make these cakes using the ratio of six to 24. But when I go to my pantry, I only have 18 eggs. So I need to work out how much flour to add to 18 eggs. Now there's a couple of ways I can do this. If I write this out in fraction notation, so six over 24, which should be equal to F, this is what we're gonna find out, over 18 eggs. One way to solve for our unknown amount of flour, right, which is F, is to compare the top numbers, the numerators, with the bottom numbers, the denominators. Now we can do this by asking six times what equals 24 to go from here to here what are we times by right. or 24 divided by what equals 6 right. so going the other way from divided by what now another way to write this would be 24 divided by 6 equals what Right, which we know is 4. Right. So to get from 6 to 24, right, we times, let's just get rid of this, times by 4. Right. Which means inversely, to get from 24 to 6, we need to divide by 4. So we could put four in all of these blanks and they will all equal out. So in ratios, like all equations, if we do something to one side, we need to do it to the other side as well. For F, right, let's borrow this one for example. If six times four equals 24, then F times four should equal 18. So F times four should equal 
18. Inversely, if 24, if 24 divided by 4 equals 6, then 18 divided by 4 should equal f. It's going the other way. So 18 divided by 4 equals 18 over 4, which we can simplify to 9 over 2. And half of 9 is equal to 4.5. So for 18 eggs, we need 4.5 kilos of flour. You can look in between the numbers as well to get the same result. So 24 times what equals 18? So 24 times what equals 18? Again, inversely, you can write 18 divided by what equals 24. Or just 18 divided by 24 equals what? Which can be written like 18 over 24. The common factor between these numbers is 6. So to simplify, we divide each one by 6. And that will give us 3 over 4, which in decimal form is 0 0.75. So now we know that to get from here, from 24 to 18, we times by 0 0.75. And like we did before, what we do to one side, we need to do to the other as well. So I can write 0 0.75 in here and in here as well. So let's borrow this one, bring it over here. If 24 times 0 0.7 is 18, then 6 times 0 0.75 will equal F. So again, if 6 times 0 0.75 should equal F, which is the same as saying 6 times 3 over 4. Remember, 3 over 4 is the same as 0 0.75. So that can be simplified to 18 over 4 which is equal to 9 over 2, which is equal to 4.5. So as you can see, we have the same answer no matter which way we go about it. Same answer, different method. So there you have it. So here are two different but similar ways to solve for proportionality. A very handy method for lots of real world application be it cooking, gardening, auto mechanical, and so on.